the, the hoity-toity society is not a bastion of everyone being nice to each other. Chelsea and Cameron You should both. see my friends in Palm Beach. <laughs> it sounds like I don't want to. All right, here we go. Andy, stand by. Oh, man. I feel like this is going to be really intense. If there was ever a time to take my Adderall, it would be now. <laughs> What is the status of your relationship? We're not together. You're not friends with benefits. <laughs> I didn't say that, Andy. I'm not surprised by anything that he does that's hateful towards me or Austin. I mean, the, the, forget it. It was a dick move. You had to know that saying that she's white trash was going to get you labeled elitist. There's a little bit of snobbery in me. You're a disgusting person, and that goes for, way further than this. Now you know why I don't like you, because you just started a bunch of shit. You guys had both taken out that anger out on me when all I did was try to mitigate it. Well, I think it was a new low, which is kind of embarrassing to be associated with. It was really, really humiliating. And not true. After the video was taken, right. a lot of my clients were like, girl, Come on. Get like, out there. Get out there. Like, you need to meet my friend Gentry. I don't all blame I did, them. I don't blame No, I'm going to tell you because this no, has been No, you're going to let me talk first, OK? Because I've heard enough of all your little chit-chat around town. Oh, good. Come on, girl. Tell me. Oh, you're, you're just, like, exhausting me already. Well, I'm, I'm okay, here well, listening. OK, what? so I didn't think it was a big deal because I actually thought she was single. I couldn't keep track of their relationship. OK. Craig took that information were. knowing their status. And she had just had oh. sex with another guy. And did what he wanted with it. OK. Well, I told the boyfriend. Do you regret telling Craig? Yes. Why? Because <laughs> you're the mouth, man. Because. Like, it's her fault. It's no one okay. else's. Are you kidding me? Um, Danny, do you think Madison was complicit in having her friend yes. DM Gentry? Now you know why I don't like you, because you just you started a bunch of shit. And I like, started nothing. You reached out to my anything, boyfriend. I'm sorry. Is she crazy? No, you are. You are she, crazy. Oh, she was please. really trying to not make it a big deal. I was trying to protect she did. you. She was trying to play it down. Did get blown out of proportion. Like, and Craig then you took telephone. your anger out on her. I don't think I and did. And ever since you guys had both taken out that anger out on me when all I did was try was to mitigate it. Person. You're such a bully. It's like you change everything around. Danny, why do you think you were brought into this? I mean, Madison's issues with Shep are no secret, but she blamed you for the Instagram thing. And I know that there was some animosity that both of them had towards me for bringing that to light, but I didn't know that it was, like, to the extent that it was. And it was really, really hurtful and humiliating and not true. And so I don't know where the disconnect is, and I don't know how somebody just comes up with chlamydia. I don't know if you made it up. Austin, did you make it up? Jamie, is this gonna say you're out, you know? She makes that face. <laughs> but like, look, and a f***ing liar, and you, and I'm just gonna be like, dude, uh, like, I'm not though, girl, and I'm sorry to say it, like. I'm not. I didn't make it up. Be like part of the show. Yeah. Make it clear. You two can figure it out. Like, I'm just saying that I didn't make it up. Right. Andy, I said that, you know, it could have been just misconstrued and, and, and a late night talk with Shep, and maybe I took it. The, the important part is it's not true. I don't Thanks. understand how it's a misconstrued late night talk. I'm yeah, sure you just didn't, didn't make it up for fun? Because Catherine, I would never make up something like that just for fun. Like, that does not sound like fun to me. So, Shep, you told Austin this. No, I didn't. I, I, we, it, it got misconstrued. We have had, I, I don't remember <laughs> anything like that. You guys did hook up many years ago. We right? dated eight years ago. Right, yeah. I, I have just... my medical records here. Okay. So Can you I know just I say don't something? have it. It's just like... We, we called Dr. Jackie from Mary New Medicine to ask her about chlamydia. I mean, you can Google it, too. I mean, it's a pretty common thing that you take seven days of antibiotics it and it's gone. It's not her. I know, but matter. I'm saying See? chlamydia, it's like... Right, but no, no, no single woman female, in her 30s wants to be... Yeah, that is... That's up. If something, If that was said about me, I mean, I would be 
mortified. I mean, I think any of us women would be. Um, Diana from San Diego said, Chelsea, as someone who actually has to work for it, do you ever feel like an anomaly amongst your privileged trust fund friends? I honestly don't think about that. It's not their fault that they have a trust fund, you know? You are pinpointing one person well, who that has a trust actually, fund. Who has a trust fund? Nobody but Shepard. I don't, you don't. It's you a common know, like, refrain. Exactly, so it's just a silly, silly thing to say. I think the perception is that you guys don't have jobs. Okay. What, well, yeah, who, who's, who's whose business is that? Like, yeah, who, who, well, you're on a reality show about your life. Yeah, no, but I'm so saying like, I'm not like taking government money, like, you know, well, nobody's accusing like, you of that. I mean, but like if I was in a coal mine, like that would be more. No, that's like, that, <laughs> that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, valid. Shep's a hardworking guy. He works in a coal mine. He goes in every day. He makes minimum wage. Oh man, what a hardworking guy. That what Shep a great is. guy. Do you think that Chelsea works harder than you oh, or the same yeah. amount as you? I've had a job since I was 14. Easy, My easy, very easy, first easy. job was bush hogging pastures for okay. neighbors. And when I first moved to Charleston, I had three jobs. And then when I didn't have to have a, a nine to five anymore, when I'm selling beer, but like see, I don't have, have to be in there option. at nine. You have an option why? to say, why do you if say I that? don't have to have one. Why, why do you say that? You, you're, you're in the exact same, same option as I have yeah, Chelsea, you're, you're, the, my you're in the same give, position. Give you just, like, are you really you inferring it. that my parents No, but you money? just said, but when I didn't have to have a job. You don't have to have a job sure? either. Yes, I do. That's why If I won the lottery, I would have a job. Yes. Okay. No, are you moved to Costa Rica and not do Sir, no, but that's I would never do that. Chelsea you chooses about to it. still you do it. Buy a house down there. There. That doesn't mean I'd quit but my job. I would never direction. quit my job. If I'm not great. working, I feel like worthless. Uh, Danny, what did you mean when you said she's never held accountable for her actions? Catherine gets a lot of passes, especially for me. With this girl's trip, like, I really wanted her to be able to have valid reasons as to why she, like, wasn't responding and it can be perceived as being a little like obnoxious or irresponsible. I think that everyone made a bigger deal out of it than it actually was. If your good friend is trying to get a hold of you and is worried about you, why are you getting defensive about her asking? I'm not defensive about it at all. Like no, but I, you were defensive about it. I'm used to my phone ringing and it being either Thomas, my lawyer, or getting news about something else that's not good. But you cannot alienate other people in your life who do not have ill intentions for you just because you're going through that. I don't no, think I don't she's alienate doing that. people. I, think I she talk puts to my her friends, phone away. my actual friends. So I shouldn't expect a response back because we're not real friends. Y'all, I don't know what to say. But it's to okay. Myself, like you've got sh going on, but just say, "Hey, I'm busy. I can't talk to you." Thomas is going to bring this up in court just so everyone knows. Hey y'all, it's Austin. Subscribe here if you like the video and click here for more content.